hi earners welcome back to my channel we are finally filming the long-awaited laundry hacks tips and tricks budget friendly how to get all your laundry done in one day or two video in this video I'm gonna be showing you exactly how I do my laundry routine how I separate everything the products that I use that are pretty much budget friendly and then the timing constraints that I do to try to get everything done in one day now with this you can run around and do errands and periodically come back home or you can choose to stay home and do it all in one day. Sometimes it takes me two days, just depending because I do my laundry a little bit differently now. But basically, if you're, you know, a mom, if you're a very busy person, or just someone that literally hates laundry and just wants to get it done and out of the way, but also do it efficiently and also make sure that all your clothes are being saved for their colors and also the quality as well as being washed properly, then this video is gonna be for you. As you guys can see, I have a whole pile of laundry waiting for this just to show you guys how bad it is and how we can knock it all down. Currently it is 5 11, well 5 12 as you can see. So we are getting a very late start today, but that's okay because I'm not new to this. I've been doing this for years. Basically how all this started was when I used to live at my mom's house, I would constantly be busy. So in order to do the laundry, I would be running errands and coming back every hour or every two hours and then switching out the loads and then getting the new ones in and that's how I pretty much got everything done in like a day or two while still getting everything else done by running my errands. Doing it with this method can be kind of like a gas guzzler so you just have to pick and choose what you want to do. Do you want to stay at home and try to do at home things and save gas or do you want to save yourself time by getting everything done while also continuing to come back home if you can drive to things that are a lot more closer. Whatever you want to do, either way works. Just kind of put a timer in your head of when you start and when you end and that way you'll know when everything's done so you can get on the next loads as you can tell this is huge so we're gonna start with how I sort everything I color code it and I also categorize it because I wash some things on hot some things on cold but I'll show you all that here in a second so we're gonna start with sorting I have a laundry sorter in there but I like to kind of put things in piles out here first so that way I can kind of see what I'm doing black clothes is one load towels is a separate one Grays, blues, greens, they kind of all go in the same. White is a different one. Underwear is a separate one. Reds. Pillowcases and or sheets can go with towels, but if it's the whole thing, then it's just gonna be in one load by itself. I have reds in here, but below it, underneath all this, I have like dish towels. So the ones that I actually use for like dirty dishes, I put at the very, very bottom. And then something that like barely got used is like these decorative towels or dish drying mat. I'll put that over top so it doesn't stink, but it's like a barrier so I can still put clothes over top of it. I'm gonna go ahead and separate all these into the laundry sorters. I make this like my underwear one. I do separate grays from darks. We'll get into that later. I have the white load, grays, blues, purples, greens, whatever, black load. Go ahead and add the ones from the floor into here. We're gonna have to make that our next load. It's way too big. The towels just stay out because that's going to be the very first load that is super, super important. In comparison to everything else, I have other clothes, but I do not have other towels, as you can see. So that's going to be the first thing that we do. Then we'll probably do the black load because we wear those the most. Then we'll do the gray and then everything else. The dryer is up top. Some of the products right here. This just helps me keep organized so it works. I put one of those paper holders right there to hold some of my bottles. We have some OxyClean spray I'll show you in a second. The downy unstoppable beads just to make everything smell really good. I have some Goo Gone just for extra stains that I just can't get out. I have my wool light for darks, which I'll explain in a second. My Ecos clear and free laundry detergent. This just helps for any allergies as well as it's clear so there's no color to it, no staining, good for the environment, good for your skin. Also have my OxyClean powder right there just for the real hard stains that can't come out. I can throw that in there. Right here is kind of just my extra stuff. Set all the stained items right up here just so I know to get those. Also, I normally have two of these. I I think I lost one. Briar balls. Got these at Dollar Tree. I don't know if they still sell them there. I also have them on Amazon and at Walmart. These are great. They help for static. They help reduce the time in the dryer, which makes it a lot easier. You could also air dry your things. That could reduce your bill, as well as it can help prolong the longevity of your clothes. I did try this grandma's spray 
tried to get this one tough stain out, but it didn't really work. So I'm not really sure about it, but I think it works just like OxyClean pretty well. I have my delicate bags right here for any lace underwear, anything with like strings, sleeping masks, bras, anything like that can get caught or I just want to keep separate so I don't lose it. I have my dryer sheets whenever I need those, vinegar for whenever I strip my clothes. I have a toothbrush for tough stains. I also have my OxyClean stick. I don't really see a difference with this. I already bought it, so it's here. I have my fabric softener when I strip clothes as well, or if I just really feel like I need that or some good smelling stuff in it. Free and gentle, so that's also good for the skin and the environment. And as you can tell, there's that second dryer ball. So that's kind of how I have it set up. It was a lot easier at the other house just because I did have racks that were kind of like up top, but it's kind of weird here because the top of the dryer shakes. So I can't really put anything on there. We do have this to like help with moisture. Here's the downy unstoppables. I really haven't seen a difference in this one being the free versus the regular one with the yellow top but I've only used it like once or twice. This is supposed to be for the fabric softener. You just throw it in there, but I haven't tried it yet. And then here's all my stripping, my clothes stuff, in addition to the vinegar right here. I'm not gonna get that out because that's literally a whole separate video. So if you'd like to see how I strip my clothes and get rid of any smells, like cigarette smoke, you go thrifting a lot, how to get rid of just basically all the previous wear and stuff that's inside of them. If you have someone that works in a very dirty area environment for their job and you just wanna clean their clothes really well, let me know down below and I will be happy to show you that video because honestly it really does help your clothes but it has to be a separate video. I'm drinking the green smoothie. Try to get some energy to get this all done since I did get a late start from yesterday's video so make sure you check that out if you haven't seen it yet. It's my very healthy vegan energy boosting green smoothie recipe. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with washing our first load which is going to be the towels. Towards the bottom or in the middle, I'll add my downy unstoppables. This is gonna be the load. I'm gonna add a little more. Towels, bed sheets, and underwear, I wash everything on hot. This disinfects the bacteria because I watched a video about basically you wash your underwear separate and it gets rid of all the bacteria. So I thought, why would I not do that with my towels? Why would I not do that with my bed sheets? And after stripping my clothes and using hot water in the bathtub to make everything dissolve and come out of there, I just think that that's the best way to go. Same thing with my dish towels. Bed sheets, towels, dish towels, underwear, all on hot. The rest can be on cold because this is gonna save you money but unless you need to disinfect something to really get the gunk or the dirt out then I suggest hot or like warm. Anything besides dark clothing aka black clothing we're gonna be using the Ecos free and clear laundry soap so I go through this way more than I do the wool light but the wool light is to protect those so we'll go through that later. This one's really bulky and normally I'll just do bulky and do like two loads but since we're doing so many probably gonna need to do it on the heavy duty which is what I'm gonna do for my comforter and we're gonna go over here and we're gonna switch this to hot and the soil level is already heavy but if it was lower than that I would make it higher just to get more suds and get more of the washing going so we're going to go ahead and press start here was all those buttons made sure I put it on the hottest setting and the highest soil level if it's like a lower one like underwear like say it's like light or in that middle I'll just make it one step up so you don't have to always make it super heavy and waste your water But I just like to do it extra for those hot loads. We got an hour and 28 minutes I will check back with you then right now the time is 5 42. So I'll check back at about 7 10 7 15 something around there now that we have our first load in I'm kind of gonna break down the time frame so that way you know what to do personally I'm gonna be staying home today because I don't really feel the best it's gonna be a lot easier if you do stay home to be able to keep track of the time usually everybody Everybody's washers will like make noises. Don't remember if my last one did. I know the one at my mom's house did. This one makes a noise. I just can't remember if the other one did. So I know that I probably just had to check on it or I would be running around doing errands so I wouldn't obviously hear it. But right now, say I needed to go somewhere. If I had something in there, I would put it in the dryer and then do this load, which you'll see next time. After I do this, I would immediately leave and go do my next errand, come back, do the same thing. As soon as I walk in the door, put it in there. As soon as it's done, walk out the door. But since I'm at home, it makes it 
it a little bit easier. So now I'm gonna go downstairs, I'm gonna wrap some gifts, do the litter box, and just little things like that, and then just wait for this to be done. Immediately move to the dryer, get started on the next one, and just keep going and going. We're right at 7.37, took a little longer than expected. Also now, we got two minutes left, so I'm just gonna wait to hear that and immediately get it switched out. So now that our towel load's done, we're gonna just do a regular load, do that on a cold wash. We're probably gonna go with the black load since it was literally overflowing. And another tip is to wash everything inside out because this is actually going to damage the inside of the clothes more than it is the outside, so it'll prolong the longevity of your clothes. And we'll actually be using the wool light for darks on this to do the same thing. Not sure if everything's gonna fit so sometimes I'll set like dark gray stuff out to the side that I can maybe add with a gray load and if it can't fit I'll just add it in and another good tip is whenever you take off your clothes at the end of the day to put them in the dirty clothes I kind of follow this method with once you touch it one time don't touch it again once you pull your clothes out of here don't set them somewhere and then hang them up you're already touching them once so go put them and hang them up right then go fold them and put them in the drawers right then the so same thing once you take your clothes off at the end of the day already make them fold it inside out and put them in the hamper that way they're already ready to be put in the washing machine like that saving more time Okay, we still have a little bit of wiggle room, so I'm gonna go ahead and add these in there. This is where the wool light for darks comes into play. I don't know about wool light for colors or for delicates, but wool light for darks you definitely need to add because having regular laundry detergent just doesn't do what this is gonna do. Again, gonna put it on bulky. This one we are not gonna put on hot because we are not trying to disinfect anything like the towels. We're just trying to wash the clothes. Obviously you could, but just know that putting your clothes on hot can possibly cause shrinkage once you put them in the dryer, but also if you're air drying them, it may not matter. I'm just gonna do tap cold, the coldest possible. That is gonna be the cheapest option for your water bill as well. I don't need to make the soil level any higher because again, I'm not trying to disinfect anything, but if your kids are like rolling around in the dirt or things like that, you may wanna do that. Start, as you see, we're only at 56 minutes, so it's a lot less time than the previous one. Right now the time is 7.53, and this actually might work out because I think we're actually gonna go run some errands, so then I'll be able to show you how once you get back, you just get started with the next load. Errands take usually about an hour, so that works for it. It's about 8.12, and we got about 40 minutes left on the laundry, so we're heading out now, and hopefully we'll be back right in time. We're here. Y'all, we're really cashing out. Look, gingerbread house. And then I'm getting some bathroom stuff, kitty litter mats, all the goods. We're back, it's a little bit later. 9.29 if you can see. I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the next load. I'm gonna go ahead and take that one out and then we'll go ahead and do probably the gray load since it's the next biggest one. And then again, going with my rule of thumb, the first time you touch something, you want to get taken care of right then. So I'm going to go ahead and fold these right now and then get those put up back into the little baskets where all the towels go. And then also go ahead and dry these. This one is going to be an air dried item. So I just go like this and kind of hang it on the coat hanger on the back. The air drying method is another way to save money on your clothes, especially fleece items. If you hang them up, again, it'll prolong the longevity of your clothes. Depending on how many items you have, it can save you more money with your dryer, with your energy bill. Onto the gray load. Again, we're just doing the exact same thing with the last one. We're just going to inside out all our clothing to keep them nice and to keep them from being faded. I have a heavy in here, so I'm just gonna put it in the delicates bag just so I don't lose it. Normally, since these are dark green and the light blue, I would separate them into two piles, but we will see if it can make it. I'll do like a darker gray one this time. I'll just put it to the side in case. This has white in it, it'll go on to the side. Same thing with this one being a little bit lighter. So sometimes with the fleece, I will not put them inside out, like with the navy set I just had. Again, that prolongs the longevity of it, but with lighter colors, scared things will get stained. So I just feel like I can't do that as much. And it's a risk I take with the darker ones getting more faded, but you kind of just can pick and choose. The 
this is what's left. This is a bigger load, but also there is a brand new item in there. It's like a dark green, so I'm scared it might dye any other lighter clothes. I'm just not gonna take that risk. Then I also just wanna browse my stained clothes pile to see if any of them can go in there. And nope, they're for a different one. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this one again with the Eco Spray and Clear Laundry Soap. And again, since this one doesn't need to be disinfected, we're just gonna do it normal. And we're just gonna move this to the tap cold, leave the soil level the same. It looks like this one's only gonna be 54 minutes. Here's the back of the door situation. As you can see, I have like these coat hooks and then I just hang the clothes. I could do about one, two, three, four. I could do about six things, blankets, all that. You kind of just figure out a method to do it with. There are also those specifically designed things to air dry clothes with. It's like a rack. I actually have one. I just don't set it up because I don't really have anywhere to set it up in here at this house. At the old house, I had like a specific kind of area that I used it. But also another thing that I've been doing is I haven't been buying clothes that can't be dried can only be air dried because I just am so busy I don't have time to wait on it. it depends on like what you want to do if you want to save more money or if you want to prolong the life of your clothes you want to get something to air dry it with but if you don't care you want to buy clothes that can be dried in the dryer and then just dry your clothes and continuously do that and make it easier on yourself it's 9 40 so I'll check back with you guys around 10 30 10 40 somewhere around there look at baby Marie she loves doing laundry and she loves watching that thing spin she might go over there in a second again with the one touch method i went ahead and folded all those towels that you just saw me take out and that's the first load that we've got to fold so we're technically on load number three so we're doing pretty well i forgot to say went ahead and put this on dry Eleven fifteen now. I kind of was stalling a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and get started with the next load. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get everything done tonight, but we're at least going to try. We're gonna do the whites first before we do the reds. That's another tip and trick to make sure nothing bleeds. Try to do your whites first before you do your reds. I don't think the blacks or the grays really affect the whites, but definitely don't do the reds first. Checking my stain pile and I found something. My OxyClean, just spray it and then inside out. This one's a small low, so just normal or cold. Same with the egos. Okay, we have the red load to go, the underwear, and possibly the gray load. That's pretty much it, but hopefully we can get at least one, possibly two more loads in tonight. Using the one touch method, I'm gonna show you guys how I get all this folded and put up right away. And we got all that done by 11.30. Guys, it's currently 12.18 and we are so, so close to being done. I'm gonna take these out and do everything just like I was. Now we're gonna get started with the red load. Normal, I'm cold. That's the last of the clothes. All we have left after this is the underwear and then possibly the dish towels, but I honestly may save those and let those just build up over the next week. Along with that gray load, let that build up as well. So I'll check in with you when this load's done. We're at 1221, not bad for getting started around four or five o'clock. I mean, if I got started this morning, everything would have been done already. I forgot to tell you guys, I'm gonna do the one touch method with these ones. I'll go ahead and get them put up and hung up. Guys, we are so, so close to almost being done. It is currently one. 13, this load just finished. Usually these loads get smaller and smaller. They dry quicker, take less time to fold, all that. Oh, I'm so excited. And now, we start with the underwear. Normally, I let these build up a little bit, but for the sake of the video, we're just gonna go ahead and do it. I don't know if I can show you the next load because I need to wash this bra, this jacket, this shirt, 
and then these black underwear that are on. So I'll just show you the filming of it instead of me. After this, I'm gonna try to maybe get one more in before the night's over, depending on when I go to bed. I'm gonna take a shower here soon. And then those white clothes I just dumped, I'm gonna go ahead and do the one touch method, fold them, get them put up, and we're pretty much done. That's another hack. Depending on how your water works with like hot water and stuff like that, you could throw in a load before your shower or after your shower or right before bed or before slash after your shower and before bed, whatever works for your schedule. That's what I'm gonna try to do. I just finished my nighttime routine and my clean clothes that we just washed and that was pretty much the last load. I'm gonna go ahead and dump the red and add the last load of the gray up there. I'm gonna start some of the underwear and then honestly, I'm pretty much done. I'm gonna let the second color of underwear, which is gonna be the gray load and the dish towels just load up for the next week or so and probably do it this week. Technically, we ended up finishing and it is 2.12. You can get this done at a decent normal people time. I just stay up super late now. Look at Tina, she's doing her favorite part. What? And she ran away. With the underwears, I do separate them by darks slash blacks and then gray slash colored. When you're doing this, personally, I don't use any scented things. Like I don't use the downy unstoppables when I do my underwear and I just use the laundry detergent. I don't use fabric softener or anything. You wanna make sure that you're washing them on high. Now, something else I also do is I add like an extra soil load. Say it's at like medium, I add it to the next tier above it, which I'll show you guys because you want to make sure that you're getting rid of the bacteria from your underwear, making sure that you're just thoroughly washing them. I literally just throw them in there. Usually I'll just put them inside out, shut it. You don't wanna put too much laundry soap because you're literally washing the smallest load. You don't wanna wash them with anything else. You just don't want any other bacteria or outside clothing or anything to contaminate it. And putting the smallest amount of laundry soap get it started. I do normal, but we're gonna change it to hot and the soil level to between normal and heavy. I'm gonna go to bed, so again, another tip is to wash the laundry right before you go to bed and dry a load as well, because why would you not do housework in your sleep? That's literally genius. If you guys like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you also subscribe down below. Also click that bell for your notifications and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.